If you've been following rock soul superstar Fantasia Barino since the American Idol days, then you may have already seen a glimpse of her two North Carolina mansions. While she signed over one of her million dollar homes in 2013 to the bank, she still had another luxury home to fall back on two miles away. In 2018, Fantasia sold this property too for a price way under what she paid. These days, it seems the singer still calls Charlotte North Carolina home and has shown peeks into her elegant space on social media. We'll check out a couple of houses Fantasia has lived in over the years, as well as what we know about her current abode. We even found some of the listings. In his videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Fantasia Barino, also known as her mononym Fantasia, is an R&B singer, songwriter, actress, and author who rose to fame as the winner of the third season of American Idol back in 2004. Following her victory, she released her debut song, I Believe, which got to number one on the Billboard charts. She also released her first album, Free Yourself, which went on to be certified platinum and earned Fantasia three Grammy nominations in 2006. That same year, she released her self-titled second album, Fantasia, featuring the single, When I See You, which also did quite well and topped the Billboard R&B and Hip Hop charts for weeks. Fantasia even played the role of Celine in the Broadway musical, The Color Purple, for which she won a Theatre World Award and returned to Broadway again a few years later in After Midnight. The songstress finally won herself a Grammy in 2010 for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance. At the time of this recording, Fantasia has an estimated net worth of about $3 million and while she has a child with one of her exes, she and her current husband Kendall Taylor are expecting their first baby together. The couple still lives in Charlotte, North Carolina which is where all of Fantasia's past homes have been as well. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up but we're the original house tour connoisseurs and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. I've seen a few of you guys request this one, so today we're taking a look at three properties that Fantasia Barino has called home over the years. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is up next in those comments down below. Now, let's get into this video. Around the end of 2008, Fantasia's main home in Charlotte, North Carolina was in foreclosure and due to be auctioned off in January 2009 due to unpaid taxes and reimbursing a company she took a loan from. The auction was cancelled at the time, but a few years later in 2013, Fantasia had to hand this home over to the bank after failing to pay her mortgage. This 6,600 square foot pond front home was located in the Glenmore Lakes development in the Piper Glen community and was the same mansion featured on MTV Cribs back in the day. This neighborhood was an exclusive development with custom estate homes and beautiful lake and golf course views. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to North Carolina. And this is my house, I'm Fantasia. You guys come on in, I'm just hanging out with my family. Walking in, there was an epic double height entryway with winding stairs as well as five beds and five baths throughout. Property records show Ms. Verino acquired the home in 2007 for $1.3 million and attempted to sell it for $800K, but that didn't work out unfortunately. Fantasia had a music room with piano and nearby a living room with double height ceilings, large windows, and a fireplace. At the time, she also decked the place out in a lot of gold detailing, because I'm sure it was cool at the time, and decorated the dining room herself as well. From old listing materials, we can see the home was left a bit outdated and apparently did not complete the full renovation. Maybe that's why these days the house was last priced at a low 125k. Other features of Vantage's previous mini mansion included two master suites, one with a black jacuzzi tub in the ensuite, more fireplaces throughout, and an exterior balcony. Elsewhere on the property, there was a swimming pool and spa, as well as an additional pool house. While what happened to that home we just looked at was all types of unfortunate for Fantasia, don't worry, she still had another 4,600 square foot luxury home to fall back on only two miles away. It may have been a step down from Glenmore Lakes, but not by much, as it was a two story brick home boasting fancy features throughout, like a screened in porch with marble tiled floors and a wooden roof, perched on half an acre of rolling grass and trees. This house was still in the Piper Glen Golf Course and offered four bedrooms plus two bonus rooms and additional bed that was converted into a walk-in closet. The home, built in 1996, had bright and airy interiors throughout as well as 3.5 baths, 
the master bath even offering a sauna. Fantasia bought this house in 2004 for $740,000 and in 2018 when she decided to move on from it, it dropped down to $479k. Clearly she was hoping for a quick sale. Reportedly this bargain price reflects the need for renovations to the home and listing materials explained it was a unique opportunity to redo and make it your own. Inside Fantasia could choose to spend her time in the music room or get glammed up in her bright pink bedroom turned walk-in closet. The master suite was black walled and had casino style carpeting which was something that might not appeal to every homeowner but could easily be changed. The modern kitchen was finished with stainless steel details and red cabinetry, another bold choice but again could be changed. Nearby the formal dining room was light filled thanks to windows all around. Other features included a breakfast nook, a stair landing that was converted into a lounge space, and family room with fireplace. Unfortunately, despite the gorgeous gardens and space to relax on the property, this home didn't have a swimming pool like that last one. You win some, you lose some. In the end, Fantasia sold the place for 465k. While we don't officially know the details on Fantasia's current living situation, it seems that even though she sold that last house in 2018, she's still happily living in Charlotte. From her daughter's Instagram, her own Instagram, and the virtual concert she gave fans in June from the music venue The Fillmore Charlotte, it seems she didn't stray from the city. Thanks to social media, we can catch glimpses at what it's like to live in Fantasia's current family home. Her large tan shingled residence is located in a stately neighborhood with traditional vintage looking cast iron street lamps and perfectly trimmed hedges. Outdoors, she's a deep pool that lights up at night giving off enchanting sea green hues. The surrounding patio area boasts wicker furniture and two covered lounges. We can see this house is decidedly more modern with a lot of white walls, marble floors and super contemporary fireplaces. In this room there's even a fireplace built into the wall which is made of marble itself. Basically from Instagram posts we can determine that different textures of whites, blacks and golds are the order of the day inside the house. She also gives at home interviews from a large throne style armchair with gold, black and paisley patterns. Alright I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. After looking at the homes of Fantasia Burino, what did you guys think? After she had to get rid of those two nearby properties in Charlotte, North Carolina, do you feel like she's upgraded? Cause I sure do. She reportedly stayed in the same city and from her feet it looks like her current home is above and beyond her previous properties. Be sure to let me know which of Fantasia's homes was your fave in the comments down below. I'd also love it if you guys like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't. I post every Sunday and love when you guys drop by and say hey. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.